Right. What are the key elements, three of them, just give me top three, to being successful at partnering with the city to help bring technology to be differentiating and provide a service, whether it be for the city. I mean, for one of the things, as an example, Mark, here in, in Austin, we don't have a subway. We have a train system that's, that's minimal, um, but we do have, for example, an energy utility that could be rights of way, right, for, for RF that, infrastructure. Right. So let, let's just take this on a generic case. How, what would be your strategy to be successful in a city like Austin? Right. Okay. Because we're in Austin and there's no subway, okay, we didn't use the rights of way for the subway to run our cable anyway because, we, like I said earlier, we wanted to use the city right away so that we could go to buildings or go to light poles or kiosk and do other things. In Austin, what would be first and foremost important to me as a developer that would want to come into the city would be to work with the city manager, city managers, and get rights of way agreements. And whether it's with a power utility, New York City, for example, you get a franchise, there's the, what they call the Empire City Subway System, which is the right. duck system in Manhattan. Yeah, they manage the duck system. You know well. Yeah. At the, in the other four boroughs, we didn't deal with Staten Island for the subway, but we designed outdoor systems for Staten Island on poles. But you're dealing with Verizon, Time Warner Cable, Cablevision, whoever owns the pole. Right. And you design to that, and just because you design to that doesn't mean you get it you have what's called make readies, and that's when all of the entities that are on that pole get to go out and say, no, no, I want you to move this here, I want you to move that there. So those are things that you can't necessarily mandate because those are things that are already in and there's infrastructure there, but the easier a city or a municipality can make that, that process, like have it ready for you. Support. Is there, is there a process where you can help the city manage that? I mean, I, I have some compassion for what a city infrastructure and the staff and the elected officials go through as all of this is getting invented. They're, they're not in the habit of doing this, so how can we help educate them and guide right. them to and where it's great where, for the city uh, and great for right. the citizens ultimately? And I, I named it, we, I, we met with a gentleman today uh, uh, that works with cities, not mm -hmm. necessarily from the infrastructure part, but just from the relationship part oh, that I was like, wow, I wish I met you 15 years ago. And the, the thing about it is, and I don't know how, uh, how eloquent I'll be about this right here, but it's, it's, it's going and having those relationships where now I've met somebody that can go have those conversations and say, look, this is what you need to plan for. That somebody's going to want to come in and put fiber uh, down your streets. Are they micro-trenching, which is basically putting a knife in, in the ground sideways and kind of slitting it open and dropping stuff in below the frost line? You know, or are we going down deeper? We don't have a huge frost line here, by the way. <laughs> I, I, I know. Hey, Just listen, saying. I mean, it's a climate line. change, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen it it's snow only. in Texas. <laughs> I've been here. Okay. But, but Just the bottom, two cents the bottom line. <laughs> but the bottom line is that's the first thing, yes, is, is the right-of-way agreements getting from, you know, milepost to milepost. Right? Yeah. Then it's the attachment agreements. What can I attach things to? Yeah. Right? And then it's really, it boils down to the support of the logistics of the, the community, the, the, whether it's the city manager, the utilities, uh, other utilities, Department of Transportation. It's getting them all aligned and all in a room together to say, look, this is what we need to do and this is how we have to do it. That gets the city moving forward and moving forward fast. So there's a need for collaboration, that's what I heard. Collaboration, right? and those are really the three, it's bring the players together, right. get the rights away, and get the attachment rights right. to do things. Okay. 